Hi, I'm Ms. Kristen of the Ooster Hat for Library. Spiders are all around us. You'll see a lot of them in the fall. You can find them outside and even in our own houses. Some are really big like the wolf spider and others are really small. Do you like spiders or are you just a little bit scared of them like I am? Or maybe you're not sure. Well, Bethany Barton, author and illustrator of this book called I'm Trying to Love Spiders, has an official spider quiz for me to share with you. What do you do when you see a spider? Do you A, lay on a big, spidey, smoocheroo, mwah, or B, smile, but back away very slowly? C, grab the closest object, wind up, and let it fly. Or D, run away screaming. Well, if you chose B, C, or D, then this book is for you. If you chose A, well, then you might be crazy. So let's get started with, I'm trying to love spiders. I'm trying to love spiders. Words and pictures by Bethany Barton, published by Viking Press. I'm trying to love spiders. It isn't easy. Weird, gross, ew, yuck, creepy. I keep telling myself, spiders are cool. I want to love them. Me and spiders forever. I mean, spiders have been around for millions of years. Spider and Dinosaur Spring Break, 165 million BC. Moving silently, swinging into action, I want to think of them like bug ninjas. Like this spider right here. I'm going to try really hard to like him. Maybe if I study him for a while. I think it's working. Ah, it's moving. Squish it, squish it, squish it. That didn't work out, but next time will be better. Next time, I'll focus on all the cool superpowers spiders have, like eight eyes. Extreme close up and spider webs. Spider webs are cool. Funnel web, spiral orb web, and sheet web. Spiders spin webs out of protein packed spider silk to make themselves. That's like you or me building a house with our hair and then catching food on it. Hairball, sweet hairball. Food trap, sweet food trap. Some spiders even have billions of tiny hairs called scopulae on their legs that let them stick on walls or ceilings or... Oh my gosh, there's a spider stuck on there. Smash it, squish it, get it right now. We're not very good at loving spiders just yet. If only spiders were more like the things I really love, like burritos. And soccer. And rocket ships. Instead, their closest relatives are also totally gross. Arachnid family reunion, scorpion tick. But it's not like I'm scared of every icky thing. It's just something about spiders. Maybe it's the fact that almost all spiders are venomous. 
Spiders can't chew very well, much like your baby sister. They need liquid foods. Since no one's invented a tiny spider-sized blender, spiders rely on their venom to dissolve their dinners, making bugs soft and slurpable. I've always wanted to be a smoothie. But to be fair, while there are about 40,000 known species of spider, only a few can bite humans. And even fewer harm you with their venom. Wanted, dead, or smashed a lot for being poisonous enough to ruin your day. Female black widow, red hourglass and underbelly, brown recluse, violin shape marking on its back. Fatal spider bites are so rare, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't panic, but there is definitely a spider over there. And we're not gonna squish it this time, right? We'll just try to pet him, maybe. Can you pet spiders? Let's try. Whoops, nope, we squished him. <sighs> I'm never gonna love spiders at this rate. Maybe I should focus on what spiders are good at. Like eating bugs. That's got to be helpful, right? A single spider can eat over 75 pounds of bugs in a year. 75 pounds of bugs, total grossness. 75 pounds of dog, a full-grown boxer. I've even heard that some farmers use spiders to keep harmful insects out of their crops. Yikes! Spider, fly away! And, oh wait, looks like some of those bugs made it over here. Get out of here, bugs. I can't even read my book with all these. Hey, what's that spider doing? Spider present for you, box of flies. Wow, thanks little guy, that was really impressive. Aw, did you make that for me? I think I might finally love. Ah, cockroach, squish it, smash it, make it go away. One thing at a time. The end. That was a fun book. It showed how spiders can be pretty cool. The author also included some fantastic illustrations of some cool spiders, like the peacock spider, who displays a colorful fan on its abdomen and waves its arms, or shall we say legs, up in the air it does a little dance, all to attract a mate. And then there's the happy face spider from Hawaii, who has a happy face pattern on its back. So cute. And then there's the wolf spider, who carries its babies around on its abdomen. There's a lot more cool spiders in this book, so I hope that you'll check it out. Now that you know a little bit more about spiders, maybe you won't be so afraid of them. If you think about it, a little itty bitty spider is probably more afraid of big old people like us, don't you think? So the next time you come across a spider, think of all the good it can do, like eat up bugs that we don't want. Now here's a guide from spiderbites.org 
on how to safely relocate a spider that you might find in your house, maybe somewhere where you don't want it to be. And all you need is a glass, a heavy piece of paper or cardboard, and some courage. I'll put a link in the description box below. Now let's build a spider that moves, which you are sure to love. All you need is a paper plate, some paper, markers or crayons, scissors, glue, or tape. Now, you're going to start out by drawing your spider web. It's very easy to do. You can start by making a cross and then adding diagonal lines like this. Next, you're going to make loops or half circles from line to line all around your web right here. Then you're going to make two lines, and you might want to use a pencil for this, between the bottom web and the top web right here. Now I've highlighted mine with red arrows and a red line just so you could see. Then when you're done drawing your line, you can fold it in half and draw, make a cut right there. And then here's the fun part. You get to make your spider. So using a piece of paper, draw a circle shape for the body and then cut four strips of paper for the legs. You can tape or glue the legs to the back of the spider and then curl each of the spider legs up. How many legs does the spider have? It has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you're going to make these strips that will help the spider go up and down. So you can use a piece of heavy paper, or you can do what I did and fold a piece of regular paper, fold it over a few times and then secure it with tape or glue. You can also use a popsicle stick or straw or some other item. You're going to insert this into the lines that you cut in the paper plate. And then you're going to attach your very cute spider to that piece of paper or stick or whatever you have right there with some glue or you can attach it with tape, which is what I use. And then pull the tab up and down and make that spider move. I hope you like spiders a bit more than you did before. Hope you've had fun and we'll see you next time. Bye.